Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to import a character from Daz into Motion Builder, rig it, apply an animation to the character, and then bring it back into Daz Studio to save as a custom animation. We're going to be using Motion Builder today because it's a powerful tool for creating animations and you can get your hands on a free trial uh, on their website for 30 days. Before I begin though, I do want to give you guys a quick heads up on something to look out for with most of the newer generations of characters. Um, when we import them into Motion Builder, the scale might be off sometimes, and that's because when we export these characters out of Daz as an FPX, the scale gets baked into the actual geometry of the character, and that can cause a number of problems. So to save you the headache of having to deal with that, I'm going to show you how to work around it really quick. And we're going to do this by loading Michael 8 into the scene. So if we go to the parameters pane, we can see that the scale is set to 104%. To make sure that that scale um, stays with the character, we're going to instead load Genesis 8 into the scene. We're going to set the scale to 104%, and then we're going to turn up the head and body morph of Michael 8 so that the character essentially is Michael 8 hiding as a Genesis 8 character. So now let's go to the shaping pane and crank up the body morph and the head morph. So now when we export this, it's going to give us a mesh that's scaled instead of the actual geometry. Um, and this is because it writes the value to the scale properties instead of the actual geometry. And this will load into Motion Builder correctly. Now that that's out of the way, let's clear the scene and load Victoria 8 into the scene. Before we export this, there are two things we need to do. The first is to unparent the eyelashes from the character, as we don't need them. And the second is to remove the textures. To do this, we're going to navigate to Surfaces, All, and then we're going to find the option for Base Color. We need to make sure to select the character again before we do this. So we're going to locate base color and select none. Now that we've done this, we're ready to export. So we're going to navigate up to File, Export, and we'll name it Victoria 8. Be sure to save it as an FBX. When this window pops up, be sure that you have locks checked and click Accept. Now that we've exported Victoria out of Daz Studio, we need to import her into Motion Builder. To do this within Motion Builder, we're going to go up to File, Open, and we're going to select the Victoria 8 FBX. When this window pops up, for now we're just going to click Open. Before we can apply an animation to Victoria, we have to define her skeleton. To do this, we're going to navigate over here and click the Skeleton button. Once this is open, on our keyboard we're going to click Ctrl W to open up the schematic view. From here we can easily define the skeleton. To do this, select Genesis 8 Female and right click on its corresponding reference point and select Assign Selected Bone. I'm going to do this now for the entire skeleton. The animation that I'm going to be using today isn't very complex, so I'm not going to define the bones for the fingers or for the toes. However, if you were going to do this, 
you could define the toes here and you could define the fingers here now that we're done defining the skeleton you'll notice that the shoulders and the hands show yellow bones this is because we exported Victoria in an A pose and Motion Builder wants her in a T pose so we're going to have to adjust this manually let's go back to the main screen by pressing Control i from here let's go to display and select x-ray to show the rig now we're just going to zoom in on Victoria we're going to want to select the shoulder joint and click the rotation tool right here with this selected we're going to go to the Z coordinate and enter in 47 then we're going to go to the elbow and enter in for the Y 15 finally for the wrist for the Y we're going to enter in negative 12.75 However, if we look at the map, it still shows yellow. So we're going to go back to the elbow. And we can see that it's moved. So we're going to re-enter 15 for the Y. And we're getting green. So now we're going to repeat this process for the other side. Except we have to reverse the values. So for example, we did 47 for the Z value on the left shoulder so for the right shoulder we're going to enter in negative 47 and then we're gonna to go to the elbow and for the Y value we'll select negative 15 and for the wrist for the Y value we're going to enter in negative I'm sorry positive 12.75 and then we can see yellow so let's go back to the elbow and let's make sure that the Y value stays at negative 15 and we're getting green at this point we could move on and apply the animation but we're gonna clean up the legs a little bit let's select the left hip and enter in a Y value of 14 and a Z value of negative 7.5 and for the right hip we'll enter in a Y value of negative 14 and a Z value of 7.5 now for the left ankle let's enter in a Z value of 5 and for the right ankle Let's enter in a Z value of negative 5. Now that we have Victoria in a T pose, we're ready to apply an animation. To do this, we're going to navigate to File, Merge, and you'll want to track down a folder labeled Tutorials that comes with Motion Builder. This folder contains a few free stock animations that you can use. Today we're going to be using Mia Run Stop Turn this selected click open and before you click merge make sure to uncheck this box and click apply namespace use new namespace and type in Mia now we're ready to merge it into the scene now that we have Mia loaded into the scene let's check out the animation before we apply it to our character and it looks good so to apply the animation to our character first we're going to go over to the source option and click control rig because Mia isn't a source option yet so we have to define the characters uh, control rig so to do this we're gonna select biped we're gonna ignore these error messages and select FK IK now that we've done this we can change the control rig to Mia and we can see that the character is parented with Mia so let's see if she'll apply with the animation
Now we're going to bake this into the character skeleton. To do this, we're going to select this blue button up here. We're going to go down to Bake Plot and select Bake Plot to Skeleton. At this point, we're ready to save and import Victoria back into Daz Studio. To do this, we're going to select the Scene drop-down. We're going to click Genesis 8 Female. We're going to right-click and select Select Branches. Now we're going to go up to File and select Save Selection. We're going to name this Victoria Anim for Victoria Animation. And we're going to make sure we save it as an ASCI file. We, the option for FBX binary is here. Please be sure to save it as a FBX ASCI or ASCII. And then we're going to select Save. And we only want the animation, so we're just going to select, we're going to unselect these boxes and make sure that this is the only one that's selected. And then we're going to save. Back in Daz Studio, let's import the animation. When this pop-up comes up, just click Accept. Before we save this, let's check out the animation on our timeline. And it looks great. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to create a new folder to show you guys how to save this custom preset. I'm going to right click on My Daz 3D Library. I'm going to create a subfolder. We're going to name it Animations. Now, with the figure selected in the scene, under the Animations folder, we're going to click on this white plus button in the bottom left hand corner and select Pose Preset. From here, we're going to name the file Vic Run. When this pop up box comes open, please be sure to select Animated Range. Don't select Current Frame only. Additionally, make sure to select Hip. We don't want General. Lastly, we're going to open up this box here. We're going to go down to Uncheck and select Uncheck All Non Transforms. Once we've done these three steps, we can click Accept and the animation is saved. That'll wrap it up for this video guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to tech support. Otherwise, have a good one.